Hi guys, this is Prem. I come with a new update feature in the Prebuild SDK. We have been updated two feature. The first one is go live on social media and the second one is change layout. So before proceeding for this, we need to upgrade uh, Prebuild SDK from 0 0.2 to 0 0.3. Uh, and also you can see in my code, I have already been updated. This is 0 0.3. So earlier what I had to do, if I will have to move to the social media platform then I had to make some change in the code but uh, right now what we have done we have given a simple option uh, as a button on the meeting page itself as you can see aid live stream so for this type of changes you need to copy this stream from here and paste it to your code as you can see I have already been pasted here and also Copy this toggle live stream as a true and paste it somewhere beneath the permission. As you can see, I have already been pasted here. And make sure toggle live stream should be true. If this should not be true, then the button will be disappeared from the meeting page. I am just showing on the output screen. Here you can see here is a button aid live stream. Suppose uh, if I want to stream this video on YouTube so for this I need to click it on here and here you can see uh, it is asking stream key and stream URL so for this I need to copy stream key from here just let me open this YouTube studio just a second Here, I'm copying stream key from here and paste it to here. Similarly, I'm going to copy stream URL from here and paste it here. Click on add button. Here you can see I have successfully been added stream key and stream URL. The main benefit is that you can stream your video at the same time at different platform by adding stream key and stream URL of different platform. And now I want to stream this video on YouTube. For this, I need to tap on go live button. Here you can see my video will be live streaming on YouTube in couple of seconds. Here you will see in this dialog box. Just wait for a second. Now you can see this is in process. Here you can see I am live on YouTube. So these are the simple modification which I need done. Uh, so for this type of modification, you need to change uh, in the code. And uh, in case of change layout, here you can see here is a configuration button. And also we have a different types of layout as you can see we have a grid layout sidebar layout and spotlight layout we have also given priority in the sense if someone speak then their image will be shown in the bigger size and the rest of the participant will be at a side view so for this type of changes We need to copy this script from here and paste it somewhere here. Let me do in order and uh, let me save this page <laughs> and also let me refresh this output page so that the changes gets refreshed. Okay, uh, let me join again. Just a second. Here you can see we have a configuration button. 
and also we have a different types of layout spotlight sidebar and grid uh, as I've already explained about the priority uh, here, here, here you can see uh, we have a pin participant and speaker we can adjust the screen based on the speaker view and also uh, change layout has a dynamic changes of function suppose uh, if you want to change a layout during live stream so it can uh, easily be achievable by click on uh, layout option like you can see as we have different types of layout and so we have a participant on screen option and uh, this is used to fix the screen of host or participant whom you want to show on the screen and also you want to show the number of participant or host uh, at a maximum of 25 and also if someone will uh, if someone will join uh, after 25 then uh, they will be in sync with us in this meeting only and uh, they will not show on the uh, screen so uh, these are the simple modifications which have been done in this update and also don't forget to upgrade uh, previous SDK from 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 so that uh, you can get experience of this type of modification thank you